Hey Crusaders, I'm Danielle Rassicott, the Athletics Creative Video Producer here at Holy Cross. I'm sitting down today with Kate Hughes to get a preview of what's to come this year. Kate, this is your first full go around here at Holy Cross. What are you most looking forward to? Really, I'm excited for the students to get back on campus right now. And I, you know, I've always said that, you know, college campuses are meant to have students on them, right? And so that's the point in time we're at. You know, student athletes are coming back and teams are started. We're in the thick of preseason training and some of our first games beginning. And so you can feel the energy, you can feel the excitement that they bring. And I'm just excited to get going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What have you and your team been working on this summer? Uh, summer's been summer's an incredibly busy time, and and uh, you know I think we're all accustomed to getting asked the questions about you know it's summer vacation. Do you go into the office? Is this a quiet time for you? And you know really summer's probably the busiest time of the year. Um, you know so a lot of work going on behind the scenes. You know first you know looking back on the year that we just had, so evaluating what has gone on, reflecting on things that went particularly well, and maybe things that didn't go so well that we can make better in that hope of constantly improving our overall operation. And then taking some time to maybe think a little bit more strategically in terms of what we want to do and where we want to go moving forward. So, you know, um, you know, a lot of preparation for this upcoming academic year has been going on. Um, you know, we're incredibly excited to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Title IX this year. Uh, and, you know, in uh, conjunction with the 50th anniversary of co-education at the college. And so a lot of work on, the, on those types of projects. But it's been a busy summer. Uh, really proud of the work that's being done and excited to get it going. Yeah. So have you and your family now settled in Massachusetts? I feel really fortunate. We found a great, great spot for us and, and working hard to make it home and, and uh, definitely feeling more and more like that all the time. So thrilled to have them with me, you know, yeah. at this point and, and have them back and just get them uh, introduced to central Massachusetts and life here and uh, couldn't be happier to have them back with me. Feel really blessed for kind of where we're at and, and how that's moving forward. Yeah, and your kids, I mean, are going back to school pretty soon, right? They are, yeah. For me, I've just been trying to get things situated so they can feel settled before they start school, you yeah. know, so I've been you know, hard at work painting and, you know, breaking things down and trying to get boxes out of the house and set up dining room, you know, setting set up the dining room and bedrooms yeah. and doing all those things in addition to, you know, everything going on here. So it's been, it's been a busy time, but it's been great. And, you know, I'm just really excited for everything that's going on. So what do you expect from our fall teams and how do you measure success? You know, I'm excited to see the growth of our programs, you know, regardless of the stage that they're in. You know, we have some fall sports that have had a tremendous amount of success. Uh, in recent years, and we have some that are kind of in that more rebuilding mode, you know, some that have new head coaches, you know, so the new leadership coming in and try to set the foundation for what that program is going to look like moving forward. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited to support them in, in those efforts. I'm excited to, to help them continue to build these programs and move forward. And so in terms of success, I think broadly speaking, it's getting better every day. You know, whether it's football going after their fourth straight conference championship, whether it's men's soccer trying to build upon last season's win total, which was their best since 2013, or whether it's women's soccer who has a new coach and they're looking to, to elevate the program and, and reinstill and, and build the culture there. You know, I think we have a chance to get better every day. That's what I'm looking for constantly. Are there any specific events this year that you're getting really excited about? Yeah, our first, right? Yeah. And so women's <laughs> soccer versus Iona here at home. Really excited for them. Really excited for everything going on in that program and excited to support them in this in their home opener. You know, beyond that, obviously, there's a lot of things to be excited about, but the yeah. Polar Park game jumps out. Yeah. Uh, I've heard so much about that experience last year. You know, working with the Woo Sox and folks at Polar Park, I can say that that partnership just has so much potential. Really great people, excited about the partnership, looking forward for ways that we can build these connections to the community. And so I'm just excited to, to get us there and then be able to experience all that that game has to offer. And you know, certainly, you know, see the city come out and be a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, speaking of football, we had a historic season last year. So what are your thoughts going into 2022 for them? This spring, we had a lot of returning leadership, right? So it wasn't so much new, but it was really developing. Well, spring was incredibly incredibly impactful for the program. They took a lot of steps forward, learned a lot, got better. You know, we had more kids back this summer, this year. We had the opportunity to support a, a lot of summer access, which is exciting. And from my understanding, talking to coach, this is about as good as any camp that, that we've had here. So I think those are all the building blocks to, to continue to take this program where we're looking to go, which again, is to move forward. Right? Yeah. Last year, we played in the second round of the NCAAs. 
what's this year hold? Well, it all starts with that opener, right? And we're going to take it one game at a time. But if we do that, we have the kind of leadership and the kind of mentality. You know, we have, uh, I think we have some special things in store. So I'm really, uh, couldn't be more excited to Absolutely. get that going. Yeah. yeah. So for our Crusader community and our Crusader fans, mm -hmm. how would you tell them that they can get more involved? And what are some of the things they can do to be more involved with Holy Cross Athletics? So first and foremost, just inviting people to join us, you know, come to our events, get to meet our student athletes, get to know our coaches, you know, see the kind of incredible role models that our, our student athletes are for young people in the community. I know I'm excited to bring my kids yeah. around any yeah. chance I get, um, you know, to be around our students and see how they approach their, their academic experience, their athletic experience, you know, what that looks like, um, because I think they can grow from that tremendously. And so hopefully other people see that opportunity as well. And and will join us at our events. But you know, beyond that, there's a lot of different ways. You know, obviously, you know, our social media channels, whether it's you know at Go Holy Cross on Twitter or Instagram or Holy Cross Athletics on Facebook or on our website, GoHolyCross.com. Yeah. You know, there's all these different ways for people to get engaged. You know, but first and foremost, I just look forward to seeing people here in person. And so anything we can do to make that an easier process for folks to do that. Um, I think once you get here and you get a, a part of it and start to build those relationships, you know, it can create a really special environment that, that's great for everybody. Well, Kit, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me, and we're really excited to see what lies ahead this year. Thank you. I'm really excited, and go cross go.